another day another food video so today's ingredients flour salt olive oil some water some yeast and then for topping I got some uh, where is it some pizza topping, some mozzarella, and probably some meat for the top. So it's a pizza we're making today. So uh, let's get on with it. So let's get these uh, ingredients sorted and together. So what do we need? We need four cups of flour. So I'm going to use the half cup to, uh, well, I'm going to need eight of these basically. One, two, three, four, five. Digging deep, scraping the barrel, seven, come on you bugger, eight, so eight cups of flour, which is pretty much now wiped out my stock, so I'm going to need to get some more, one teaspoon of salt going in there. Seven grams of dried yeast going in. Going to uh, give this all a bit of a stir before I mix any of the wet ingredients like the olive oil or the water. Just make sure um, all the other dry ingredients are mixed thoroughly first. Right. Now, I'm going to add quarter cup of olive oil to the mix and I've got to add one and a half cups of water so just warm this water slightly because it was uh, well, it's very cold in here to start off with there's one cup Where's my half cup gone? On top of the flour, of course it is. And there's a half cup. So now, I'm gonna get on and mix all the ingredients. I'm start mixing the ingredients with my hands. And I've uh, got a little splash of olive oil over my hands. Help stop the ingredients sticking to my hands. So I'm gonna Continue to mix this um, and obviously make sure all the ingredients are mixed in and then knead it for a little while, let it rest because it's a lazy dough obviously. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there once the dough's resting basically, but for now it's mixing together quite nicely. So I'm going to have to spend some time on this and uh, make a nice pizza dough. So the dough's out of the pan. Popped a little bit of flour on this chopping board and uh, basically just going to work this dough now until it's nice and smooth, nice and stretchy but uh, oh, it's nice fun working in the van and now that I'm getting used to this cooking malarkey I'm managing to keep the mess to a minimum thank the lord. But, uh, God, I hope this tastes good, otherwise I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed, that's for sure. Right, so I'll give this another few minutes work, and then we'll get it resting. So that's the dough starting to rest. I'm going to do, um, I've got quite a bit of dough here, so I'm going to do a few different pizzas. What I plan to do, because they won't take long, I plan to do one pizza where I basically put the ingredients in the middle, 
and turn it over. I'm going to do one pizza where I'm going to sort of go layer it up. And I'm going to do one normal pizza where all the ingredients on top, I think. So, yeah, plenty of those to try some different uh, techniques and see how they all come out. So, whilst the dough's resting, it's time to have the tidy up. So, kettle's boiled. Pop in the ingredients away. Gonna need those for later. That's done with. Right, so now let's get the get some water where it's needed. Bit of washing up liquid. Bit of cold and the warm. Tidy as you go, keeps everything nice and smooth, nice and flowing, nice and clean. So it's been resting, it's now nice and soft and fluffy. So, one that I've already started to uh, pizza up, but um, yeah, it's nice and soft nice and light. I think what I'm going to do is uh, basically layer it over the top of the Omnia, cut the hole out in the middle so it sits down and uh, sort of go from there really. But uh, yeah, I plan to get this in to the stove and then put the ingredients on it when it's inside just to make things a bit easier. We'll see if it works out. So one hole in the middle. Right. Let's see how this goes. I've already put some olive oil in the base of the pan to obviously help stop it sticking. But uh that is one set of uh, dough in there. So we'll add the other ingredients and um, start cooking it. So, pizza topper on first. I think the topper to pizza ratio, I think the topper's gotta be of a higher ratio. Because I think if you put too much cheese on it, it swamps it. So we will go mad with the topper and not so mad with the the cheese so right that's on there cheesy please me I'm not going to waste uh, any meat on this one I just want to see how it comes out with cheese to start with so I think That'll do. I already preheated the base. They put it on a very, very low heat because what I found out was pretty much run it till it extinguishes and that'll be about 180 degrees in there. So I'm literally, if I put it on any less, the gas pretty much goes out. So that is the absolute minimum that the stove will run at. So 12.35. We'll give it five minutes to check it, and another five minutes I reckon, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's 12.40, so it's had about five minutes in there. Temperature's rising up, um, about 125 degrees at the moment. And the pizza, the cheese is starting to melt. It's uh, certainly starting to smell like a pizza palace in here, that's for sure, so... Uh, yeah, give it another five minutes and come back to it. 12.45, another five minutes. Temperature's risen just above 150 degrees. So that's how we're looking after 10 minutes. It smells like a pizzeria in here. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I reckon another five minutes and uh, we'll be good to rock and roll. Right, so it's near on 12.55. There we go. Can't remember how long it's been in now. So 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, I've been keeping periodic eyes on what's been going on 
and that is the end result. I uh, chucked some salami on there in the end. So I'm now going to get this out, cut it up, and have a taste test. Now, obviously, what the I'm near being hot. I always wear some suitable gloves to handle the bowl with, but as you can see, that is nice and loose in there. So let's uh, oh, don't go face down. What we're going to do? Uh, let's just pop it out over here. I reckon. Get the spatula in on the action. Right. Oh, an empty Omnia. Let's have a look. Try and have a, have a waft of that. Go on. That. Fresh pizza. What's the bottom look like? Not too bad at all. So. Yeah. Um. Let's move on to the next one. It's different. There's a pizza base, then the um, pizza topper, and some cheese. And for a bit of effect, let's put some more cheese on it. Right. Back on we go. I've just got it. I got a bit of dough left, a bit of cheese left and uh, some other ingredients so our last one will be the all-out pizza i think but uh, let's get it on whilst i'm waiting for that second pizza to cook in the background there here's the first one nice thick dough crispy on the extremities where it needs to be I don't even know what to say. Like everything else that I've uh, made this week. First time I've made it. Absolutely fantastic now. Each pizza yields 8 chunks like that. So four inch, or eight if you're greedy. But uh, yeah, there's a the second one sizzling away, lovely jubbly. So it's gone one o'clock. So we'll have that one out soon, I reckon. But uh, to continue with eating this one first, well that's it. But two bits, and I'm stuffed. Um, very filling, very filling pizza. So maybe it'll go further than what I originally thought, but um, yeah, still six bits left. I've got another pizza cooking, which is the double layered one, and I've got some more dough left. So, looks like um, everyone within a four mile radius is having pizza today. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but uh, sharing's caring, and that's what the van life uh, community is all about. But um, yeah, so pizza in the Omnia done, flapjack done, stew done, bread done. So if you if you're anywhere close to me and you want lunch, come and find me because there's free pizza. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Activate your smell of vision because it just smells fantastic in here, like usual when I'm cooking. And uh, until the next one, so what am I going where am I gonna go from here? I think I'm gonna I fancy another bread because the first bread was a bit it was tasty and edible, but if you had to pay for it you would be a little bit pissed off. So uh so yeah until the next one and thanks for watching guys